What's up guys, it's Nate from Nate Bauer Fitness and what you're about to check out is another killer heavy bag hit workout. This is session number three and in this one we're going to run you through another killer session. Lots of variety in the combos. So here's what you're going to do. Get your gloves on, wrap your hands up, head over to the heavy bag and I'm going to guide you guys all the way through for the entire 30 minutes. Remember, every set of exercises, so one minute hard, 30 seconds, moderate, we're going to repeat for three sets except the leg portion. Again, I want 90, 100, 110% effort. And again, if it's your first time doing this workout, try it out. If you have to take a break, it's all good. If it's your second time, go further. If it's your third time, no excuses, get it done. This is the ultimate 30 minute heavy bag hit workout session number three, brought to you by Nate Bauer Fitness and Vitamin Energy. All right, now before we get going, check this out. This video, along with a couple others, is brought to you by the killer collab of Nate Bauer Fitness and VitaminEnergy.com. And we have a lot more stuff coming to you. So check that out and uh, get ready for it. And remember, you can check out VitaminEnergy.com to get your super infused power shot, pre-workout boost, and in the cart, hit up Bauer Ship to get your complimentary um, Vitamin Energy super infused shot. No carbs, no crash, tastes really good. Super infused with vitamin C and you're gonna, guys are gonna love this, okay? The ultimate pre-workout boost brought to you by vitaminenergy.com. Coupon, Bauer Ship to get your complimentary bottle. All right guys, glove up and let's get it done. All right guys, let's go, glove up. Your first set's coming up. It's a one, two, five, six, three, four for one minute and then a cover one duck left and a cover two duck rights. One, two, five, six, three, four. One, two, five, six, three, four. Go. This is your 30 minute heavy bag hit session number three. So you are nonstop. You are used to these. You know you gotta go for it. One, two, five, six, three, four. Non-stop for one minute. Come on. One, two, five, six, three, four. One, two, five, six, three, four. One, two, five, six, three, four. You can move a little bit. But mainly let those hands go and get that sweat on. We're working round number one, the first piece. And now your 30 second piece is a cover one, duck left, and then a cover two, duck right. Cover one, duck left, cover two, then duck right. Come on. The moving crew, again, we're gonna make sure that you move non-stop throughout these hip workouts. Your jab and right hands coming out nice and straight. You're looking at your target. When you duck under, think about ducking underneath your opponent's arms, all right, your hooks. One, two, five, six, three, four, one minute. Let's go to work, go. I want you faster than the first set. You are all good. This is your third session of the Heavy Bag Hit Series. Four, including my power component to the Hit Series. So I want you to go for it. Come on, one, two, five, six, three, four. Non-stop, you own this. You're good. One minute sets, always working on maximum amount of intensity. Keep pushing. Like I always tell you, don't worry about the time. Only think about the effort. Time, all right, 30 seconds. Cover one, duck left, cover two, duck right. 30 seconds, let it go. And again, guys, what you're thinking about here is just moving around a little bit, thinking defense, your hands are staying up, you're always on your legs, 
Your chin's always down. Getting ready for this set coming up right now. One, two, five, six, three, four. Ready? Go. I don't care about your first two sets. They don't matter. They're done. They're gone. Your third set of your first round is happening right now. So let those hands go and put in work. Come on. It's amazing how well you do when you just give in to the fact that it's gonna hurt a little bit and you just go for it. So that's what you have to think about while you're throwing your combinations. It doesn't matter. What you did last set doesn't matter. What you do coming up doesn't matter. Dig in right now and let those hands go. You're focused, you're ready to go. See your target, nice, 30 seconds. Cover one, duck left, cover two, duck right. 30 seconds. And then we'll get to round number two. You can move on these, of course. You don't have to stand still. footwork you want to do more footwork then move side to side with these move in move out move left to move right you can circle around the bag and then cover one cover two on the other side of the bag you don't have to stay in one spot it's round number two you're going to dip right one dip left two so it's a dip right jab dip left two maximum intensity dig the jab in Dig the cross and go. Dip, same time, throw the hands. Pop, pop. What you're doing is you're slipping and ripping. Slipping and ripping. Dipping and ripping. That jab is strong. The right hand is strong. Work on the body and the head. You can work either one, either way. Slip, dip, and rip. Go for it. You can see I'm stepping in on the jab a little bit to give it a little more power on that as I dip to my left, or as I dip to my right, sorry. Turn that hip over nicely when I dip to my left, because again, it's a power shot. Let the hands go. Bring your head outside of your opponent's shoulders. Good. Your 30 second piece here is just movement. Again, you did a lot of work. Just move around. Get your footwork in. Think of different scenarios. Do you want to move to your left? Do you want to move to your right? Are you setting something up when you move to your left or you move to your right? What are you doing when you do that? Does your opponent typically move left? Does your opponent typically move right? If he moves left, is he setting up the right hand? Is he setting up the left hook? You have to think a little different scenarios, especially when you tire. That's how you get sharp. Let's go. Dip right one, dip left two. One minute. Get it. Hands come back to your chin, to your jaw after every shot you throw. Last round doesn't matter. The round coming up doesn't matter. 5% more. You were starting to slack a little bit. I want you to push it up a little bit more. Push the pressure a little bit more. Dig in a little bit deeper. 5% for a whole fight or a whole round is a huge amount of effort. So 5%, come on. You got it. Yeah, dig in there. Nice. Let's go. 30 seconds. Movement. As you're moving, you're thinking about blocking. You're thinking about covering. You're thinking about working to the inside, changing your angles, getting different looks. 
What are you setting up when you move? Are you setting up your right hand? Do you want your opponent to move to your left or to your right? Are you getting the setup to throw that dip? How do you do that? You throw a one or two punch combination, maybe it's a three punch combination, then dip, throw a combo, and then come back, right? So dip right one, dip left two, one minute, let those hands go. Come on. Not playing around. Just digging in with that. Make them feel it. Dip, 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 rip, 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 rip. Go for it, come on. You'll be in the best shape of your life doing these hit videos, period. I don't care how old you are or how young. Male, female, it's the same thing, it doesn't matter. Rest, 30 seconds, movement. One of the most beautiful things about boxing is that there's very few people in the world that boxing doesn't help. Again, you know, for cross training, if you're a runner and you are always in your sagittal movement plane, training first movement plane, boxing's phenomenal because you work so many different directions and movement patterns. It trains a lot of things that you miss. If you're a hockey player, same, it's good for hockey, tennis, you name it. There's so many sports boxing's good for. If you're a trainer, just get your clients to come in and try it. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Round number three, lunges, one, twos. In this position, hold one and throw a one, two in that lunge position. Let the hands rip. So many of you guys are talking about this lunge and how hard it is. Do not slow down with this, stay with me. Keep going, one, twos. Your back knee is just above the floor. Your chest is vertical. Do not slow down. Breathe. Flex your left leg. If you're doing the left leg forward, if it's the right leg, right leg forward, flex it. Coming up, we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. You are not gonna let the back knee touch and you are not gonna raise your chest. You are not gonna raise your hips. Keep going though, we're almost there. Get ready, hold it. 30 seconds, do not let your knee touch. Scream, yell, breathe, do what you gotta do. Do not let that back knee touch. It looks like I'm touching, but trust me, I'm not. Pray if you have to. Do not let your knee touch the floor. You'll be pissed if you do. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Stand. There you go. Short break. And then we'll hit up your other side. All right, now get into position. Let's get ready for your second leg, your second piece. Get ready, one twos in your lunge, go. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Keep that form or keep that speed, that tempo, and do what you gotta do. The beautiful thing about this workout is that everyone is gonna challenge you mentally, physically, emotionally, and that's the whole idea. So I don't care how fit you are, or how unfit you're training mental toughness, you're training strength, you're training conditioning, you're being motivated, and you're gonna finish this lunge. You're gonna stay in position and you're not gonna come out of it. Like I said, you'll be upset if you do, so stick in it. 
One, twos, keep going. We're almost there. Do not give in. If you do, you're gonna give me 10 push-ups. Don't give in. Get ready to hold right now. Hold it. Do not let that knee touch the floor. I'm gonna talk you through it. Lift your hips up a little bit higher. Don't let that knee touch the floor, come on. You're gonna be upset if you let the knee touch. Don't let it touch. Less than 10 seconds, do not touch. Stand, good. There you go. Now, get ready for round number four. Good job, guys. Nicely done, good effort. Eight, five, two, three, overhand right, left uppercut, right hand, left hook, one minute. Eight, five, two, three, go. Eight, five, two, three. Eight, five, two, three. Throw that, le that left hook to the body or head, wherever you want. Overhand right, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. One minute. Keep pushing, come on guys. Your 30 second piece is in and out. So duck in, then duck out. Duck in and duck out. Now with this one, if you want, you can throw a jab as you step in and you can throw a jab as you step out. Think about you're working your way to the inside and then you're coming out of the inside, working your way to the outside. Your legs are probably tired from your lunges. And we have another set coming up. But first, eight, five, two, three, one minute. Let those hands go. Give me a little more effort than your first round. Make sure you have good knuckle contact on that overhand right and left uppercut in the bag. Do so not jam up your wrist. Be cautious of that especially if you're moving a little bit faster. Go to work, keep going. Almost there, keep going now. I love this combo, that overhand right to bring the head down and the five to bring it back up. I love that. In and out, 30 seconds. Again, throw a jab if you want going in, throw a jab if you want coming out. Make sure you're looking at your target, imagining you're going in under a punch coming out under a punch, and if they're not punching, then throw something so that they put their hands up so they're in a guard position, so they're not catching you coming in. All right, eight, five, two, three, last round. Eight, five, two, three, overhand right, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Let's go. Now this one, I'm moving a little bit faster, consistently punching, do the same thing.
Keep working, guys. Come on. I want you to push through. You don't need me right now. Not yet. Push through. Ta, 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 ta. Faster than me. I want that tempo faster than mine. Remember, I'm training you guys to be well conditioned. I want you to beat your conditioning to be better than mine, not the same. In and out, 30 seconds, last set. In, out. Duck in, duck out. Throw a, palm, a punch or a combo if you want to move in. Then you can move and throw something when you come out if you want. If not, just in out, it's fine. Keep your hands up as you duck in. Round number five is coming up. This is a fast hand round. One, two, one, two, three, two, one, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, two, one, one, two. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Three, two, one, one, two. Fast hands as fast as you can. Go. Fast. Come on, this one, you're all speed. You're throwing a few hundred punches this round. Come on. Keep that chin down. Push, guys, I want you to be faster than that. You're too slow. Faster, 5%, you know, the, you know the numbers, 5%, let's go. All right, this one, for your 30 second piece, I would just want you to be really stiff to your torso and just do a little bit of a shoulder brace, not too hard. Just a little push, switch, little push. Imagine you're trying to push your opponent off you to throw a combination, right? So I'm just getting a slight bag push. Remember, this is a 150 pound bag. So if I was fighting a 150 pound guy, I'd be pushing him away. I'm not jamming my shoulder into the bag. I'm just flexing my abs, keeping my hands up and giving the bag a little slight push. Same combo, one minute, set number two. One, two, one, two, three, two, double jab, right hand. working come on guys faster hands I want you to pick it up if you've been doing my workouts long enough you know that you can push a little bit harder you know that you can work at my intensity so do that and beyond come on this rounds all about punch numbers yes my jabs a bit short but I don't care just push get the punch numbers in there Almost home. If you mess up the heavy bag, if it's moving too much on you, just reset it, but just don't take long. All right, let's go. Shoulder brace, 30 seconds. Imagine you were pushing your opponent off, and at some point, if you want to rip, you could. You could rip a body shot here. Obviously, up top, you could spin off once you push. Just always think about something could be coming back at you. Your last set of one minute one, two, one, two, three, two, double jab, right hand. Go. One minute. Let your hands go. Speed. Keep your head focused and dialed in. Move your body around your head. I don't want your head moving all over the place, guys. Little hip movement, you're inside.
always body control, relaxed hands, but deadly, controlled aggression. Come on. Last one of this. Keep pushing, right to the end. I know you're sweating hard too. I know your shoulders feel like they're they're crushed out, but that's the idea. Shoulder brace, 30 seconds. You want those shredded arms, shredded back, put in work. Almost there guys, we're gonna move on to our next round. You're gonna like this one too. Keep going though, just a few more seconds. All right guys, round number six, we're getting there. I want you to snap back and then throw a two, three, two. Snap back and then throw a right hand, left hook, right hand, speed. Snap, two, three, two, snap, two, three, two. Snap back, two, three, two. Someone's throwing a jab or across at you, you're snapping back just outside that range, coming back quickly and ripping a counter shot. Snap, two, three, two, hands up. You don't need me with this round, I want you to push through, snap it back, two, three, two, and hammer the bag. Speed, accuracy, look at your target and let your hands go. Snap back with your hands hot, and then come back with some speed and power. Alright, now shoe shine for 30 seconds. So just five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, 30 seconds. Basically, you're just making circles with your hands, shoulder to shoulder rolls in there. You imagine working inside. The shoe shine is a classic boxing combo. Great way to throw fast hands. You see that a lot in boxing videos when guys are throwing shoe shines, working through the body, then throwing combinations before and after the shoe shine. Snap backs, two, three, two, one minute. Push through. Come on. Hands up. Snap back from a jab or a cross. Even a left hook, you can do it. A little more dangerous, but you can do it with a left hook. You can parry and snap back. Left hand can lead a little bit, so when you come back, you have a little more distance between the left hand and your opponent. Instead of all the way back, as long as it's high. And you can parry or block a shot when it comes back at you if you don't move back far enough. Keep working, you got this. Work through tight arms, guys. Work through it. Don't think about not getting through. Think about the effort. Come on. Shoe shine. 30 seconds. Come on. If you can move around a little bit on this one, why not, right? Work on some footwork. Again, normally with the shoe shine, you're working inside. There's nothing wrong with changing position and throwing your hands from a different spot in the bank. All right, last one, snap backs. Two, three, two, let your hands go. Show me how fast you guys are on this one, your last one. I want, you, I want to see and feel how many combinations you can get in in one minute. Snap back, two, three, two. Snap back, two, three, two. Let it go. Nice straight right hand. Pull that back. Speed is one thing. 
punch out, speed is something else to bring back. You have to think on both sides. Accelerate and decelerate with relaxed hands. Go. Keep working, crew. Keep doing it. You got this. Doing what you do. This is the ultimate 30 minute heavy bag hit session number three. We're moving into shoe shines, your last one for 30 seconds, and we have one round left, okay? Shoe shine, do your thing. Making your small circles. Final round. You guys ready for this? Lunges. One, twos. All right, let's get in the lunge position right now. Lunge position. One, twos. Go. Don't think about it. Let's go. You guys know how the first round felt. If you did not make it through the first round, you better have. But if you didn't, you redeem yourself right now. I've had people call these the Bauer Lunge for whatever reason, but I don't care what they're called. All I know is that I want you to finish it. There's versions that are way harder than this and versions a little bit easier, but I don't care about those ones. I just want you to get through this. Keep throwing your one twos. workout before this doesn't matter your knee will not touch the floor going though but get ready to hold focus on being able to push through the whole position get ready hold let's go 30 seconds you got this? You ready for this? You gonna hold it? Do not let that knee touch the floor. Lift your knee up a little bit higher. Chest proud. Don't let your body fall forward. Breathe, yell, do what you gotta do. We're almost there. Almost there. You're screaming, you wanna stop, but you won't. Stand up, right. Now, very good guys, amazing. Little break, and let's go to your last exercise. You're gonna switch feet, and let's work the other side. Let's go. One twos, switch feet, get it done. Last one guys of the ultimate 30 minute hit workout on the heavy bag, session number three. You guys are killing these workouts, your fitness is improving, you're mentally stronger, emotionally all good. Had a bad day at work before you did this workout, maybe. Not now though, you're good. Find a reason to finish this exercise. Everybody has a reason to push a little bit harder for a short period of time. Anybody can do anything for three second increments, all right? Three seconds at a time, and then push three more, and then push three more, come on. Small victories, guys. Let's go. We're almost there to the hold. You do not give in yet. You're not ready. Now hold for 30 seconds. Come on. Do not let that knee touch. Do not stand up. Own this. 
It's all you. Come on. Don't you dare let that knee touch. Come on, scream, yell. Get angry. Don't give in. Flex your quad. We're going to stand up in a little bit. Up. Beautiful. Go work, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that killer session. Now check this out. Go to natebauerfitness.com slash contest where you can see my brand new contest, NB Fit FX. Win killer prizes by guessing fitness related sounds. It's brought to you by Nate Bauer Fitness and Vitamin Energy. We have some awesome prizes there for you guys. We're gonna get some Bauer Boxing boxing gloves, some Vitamin Energy power shots, pre-workout shots, all to you by simply pay, playing NB Fit Effects. Again, check out natebauerfitness.com slash contest for NB Fit Effects, and of course, vitaminenergy.com for your super infused pre-workout shot. No crash, no carbs, all good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you for the next killer 30-minute hit heavy bag workout.